The Joker 2 movie is the film people are so excited for and confused about at the same time. Because on one hand, you're getting the sequel to the most popular R-rated movie of the most popular villain of all time. But at the same time, this sequel is going to be a musical and no one knows what to expect. But now, we are an inch closer to knowing what we can expect as a result of a brand new teaser trailer for Joker Folia 2. And before I talk about the trailer, I just want to talk about how gangster it was for Warner Brothers to release a teaser for a teaser for a movie. Like if you're stacking trailers on top of each other, then this movie has to be good. And honestly, judging from the trailer, it does look fantastic. I mean, Joaquin Phoenix is acting his nutsack off in these two short minutes. Lady Gaga looks incredible, not just as Harley Quinn, but as Harleen as well. The setting looks super eerie and creepy. The music is entrancing. And overall, this is just a beautifully well-crafted trailer. But I do want to say that after watching this teaser, I could tell that this movie has zero comic book influence. And what I mean by that is that the big thing people are talking about is that this movie will likely not show Harley Quinn as a doctor trying to rehabilitate Joker into becoming normal again, but instead as a goober in the asylum who is so insane that she wants Arthur Fleck to relapse into his Joker persona. And this is something I honestly love. I think this is super interesting because for the longest time, we always saw Joker as this loner. And even when he had partners like Harley Quinn, he was always the alpha male, the confident one, and the abusive one. But in this trailer, Arthur looks zoned out. He looks tired. And even after Joker won, after finally understanding what it feels like to be someone who is cared for, it looks like he lost that feeling after being in prison for so long. But now he's got that feeling back in the form of Harley, but this time it's more romantic. And you know what that means? It means that we are getting a comic book movie where the plot isn't exactly predictable. Like Todd Phillips, the director for Joker 2, he took these characters that everyone loves and is changing everything about them, but still manages to make them characters that the audiences can relate to. Because if you look at Joker 1, I don't think that there is a single comic book out there that Phillips adapted. If anything, that movie was an adaptation of Taxi Driver. But despite Joker not being comic accurate, we still connected with the character. And that right there is masterful filmmaking. But anyways, let's talk about the musical aspect real quick, because when watching the trailer, I was getting heavy La La Land vibes. Because in that movie, all the musical sequences looked like a dream. And that's exactly what I'm getting here with all the sets and the camera work. Which makes me wonder whether or not all this is taking place in someone's head, because Joker in this franchise seems like the type to just daydream a lot. But clearly, I could tell a lot of that $200 million budget went into the licensing of this music, because that must have been insanely expensive. But yeah, what an incredible trailer, what an incredible shot at the end of the trailer as well. And I don't care that this is a musical, I'm going to watch it, and I am fully confident that this will be cinema. But yeah, that's it.